Before filling a burette, it is important to first rinse the burette with the solution you will be using. Make sure the stopcock is closed and fill the burette approximately one-tenth full with the solution. Hold the burette horizontally between your fingers and slowly rotate to ensure complete rinsing of the sides. Return the burette to an upright position and allow the solution to drain through the tip. Repeat the rinsing procedure once more. Clamp the burette to a ring stand or other secure mount. Hold a funnel slightly above the mouth of the burette and carefully pour in the solution. Fill the burette to approximately one milliliter above the zero line. The stopcock controls the amount of solution delivered by the burette. When the stopcock lies horizontal, it is in the off position. When the stopcock is placed vertically, solution will dispense at the maximum flow rate. Intermediate flow rates are achieved by positioning the handle between these two extremes. Air bubbles in the tip of the burette will affect accuracy of measurement. Rapidly rotate the stopcock 360 degrees until the bubbles have been flushed from the tip. Use the stopcock to adjust the level of solution at or below the zero calibration mark. In most cases, it is not necessary to start at the zero mark. The volume of solution at this point is the initial starting point for your measurement. If the meniscus is difficult to see, place a black piece of paper directly behind and slightly below the meniscus. This technique will darken the meniscus and enhance its visibility. The amount of solution delivered by a burette is the difference between the final and initial volumes of solution.